Hey guys, Spearfisher here. I'm going to do a demo of Diego Stocco's new ColorBots device. So Diego Stocco is a sound designer. Uh, he's living in LA. He did like stuff for Sherlock Holmes. He's done stuff for Omnisphere and he has some really cool stuff. Like he made sounds out of just you know washers and dryers and this kind of thing, and music out of you know washers and dryers, this kind of thing. Really cool stuff. So, anyways, uh, but this device is a series of vocoders on an Ableton Live device, and I'm going to show you some kind of ways to use it, things you can do with it, and I'll start by kind of jamming out, and then I'll uh, show you guys how it works. So, cool, enjoy. <laughs> All right. Thank you. 
Hey, so if you like that, please subscribe. I need all the subscribers I can get because I'm releasing an album this year. It's going to be awesome. I'm super excited. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, check out Diego Stocco's stuff. Check out my other stuff on SoundCloud. There, 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 everywhere. All over the place. So, uh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how this all works. This ColorBots pack from Diego Stocco is super cool. It's basically a series of vocoders right here. You've got ColorBot 1. Okay, you see it's a vocoder. And the audio is coming from Color 1. Okay? So whatever I play and I send to that send, ColorBot 1, it's going to run through this guy here, Tachyon. His volume is down, so let's listen to him. Uh, so that's how it works. You control the volumes with these, you know, the different sliders, just like you would anywhere else. Um, and here's all the different sounds he uses. He uses all the kind of stuff from his Xperia bass. And whoa, what is that? Oh my god, cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my god, don't do it. Oh yeah. Cool, so you get the idea. Okay, those are all awesome sounds. Um, and then for this video, what I was wanting to do is I thought, hey, I can put my own awesome sound in there, right? So I uh, just made a copy of his uh, vo color bot over here, and I said I wanted the audio to come from my Juno, right here. So now, when I would play Juno, now this will be triggered by any audio in here. So. If I go like this and make sure my sense. So then that audio is now triggering my Juno. Cool, huh? So, um, the big thing that I did for to make this usable live is mapping, okay? So, if you look at my MIDI map section here, let's open this up. Okay, I've got a lot of knobs mapped, okay? First, you have to make sure, you know, you're, everybody's at zero dB rather than six, which Ableton will automatically set it to. Um, but, so I've got these three knobs up here. So we've got this, these guys. Let's see if you can see what they're doing. Uh, I think if you look over here to see what they're doing. Okay, so this guy, I turn him. See, he moves that audio. These are my audio volumes here, right? And then down here, I've got the volumes of the different sends. So there are those volumes, those sends are going up and down and everything's, oh, have automation arm on. I'll just turn that off so it's not like, trying to automate something. Um, and then here, I for these, the c different colored knobs, I have n mapped the weight of each of these. So you go the weight, uh, which is which is controlling the depth of the vocoder. So he's actually, you're actually controlling how much is the audio affecting, uh, well, how deep is the vo vocoder going into the audio. Uh, I, th I think, yes, well, whatever. This is a formant shifter, so, uh, oh, that's, no, that's the depth of the effect of the vocoding effect, okay, yeah. So this is a form, and this is the formant filter, so which is, gives it a really, you know, meow kind of a sound. And I did that for all three of those color bots. So we got all of them right there and right there. And these guys, so we got these two here and here, and you'll see, look, they're like, hi, hi, how's it going? Okay, I'll show you a scoot over a little bit. So for this one, I thought, you know what, I want to have, at first, audio going to three separate color bots, and then there's like my super knob, like when I want things to go crazy, I'm like, yeah, turn it all up, and then it sends everybody to all the different uh, vocoders over there. So uh, the last thing is if you push these, uh, you can't, oh, it's whatever, it's uh, not gonna, oh, sorry, these guys here, yeah. 
heck I'm gonna do it. Okay, hopefully it's not gonna stop. This will start different clips. So, yeah, that's what those do. Anyways, uh, so, yeah, the, so the bigger idea with this is put vocoders on sends and send stuff to it. It's a great idea, you know? Uh, yeah, so that's the, the bigger idea is try putting a vocoder on a send and send interesting sounds to it. Um, and check out Diego Stocco's Colorbots pack. It just came out two days ago, so I've only played with this for a couple days, so I'm still kind of figuring stuff out. But super inspiring, super cool, best 30 bucks I spent. I've been playing with this like the last two days, love it. And now I understand more about vocoders, which is even cooler, and hopefully you do too. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, ask questions, whatever. So, yeah, and check out uh, my guy. I don't even, I'm gonna be on Spotify soon, whatever. I'm, I don't know if about SoundCloud, but check out my SoundCloud. You can, I'll be putting out a lot of new stuff in the next couple of months. So, peace.